New battery packs should be charged upon receipt. The chargers are intended for indoor use, where they are protected from moisture. The charging temperatures are from 32 degrees to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The battery pack can be charged separately or attached to the 3M AdFlow PAPR assembly. Initially, inspect the battery pack prior to each charge cycle. If any cracks are noted, do not charge the battery. Replace it. Place charger in the battery pack in a cool, well-ventilated area, free of airborne contaminants. Connect the charger output to the battery charger socket. Plug the charger into a suitable AC source, in the US 110 to 120 volts. Standby mode is indicated by a solid yellow. Pre-charge mode is indicated by a yellow flashing slowly. Waiting for correct temperature will be a yellow to green alternating slow flashing LED. Rapid charge is indicated by green flashing quickly. Maintenance charge or trickle charge is green flashing slowly. Fully charged is green permanently on. An error detection is a solid yellow indication. The battery should be charged to approximately 80% after three hours charge time and will reach full capacity in approximately six and a half hours charge time, depending on the residual charge left in your battery pack previously. This battery pack was designed for approximately 500 charge cycles. 3M recommends disconnecting the battery pack from the charger once the battery is fully charged. A fully charged battery can be left in trickle charge mode for a short amount of time, three to four days leaving the battery pack connected to the charger. Longer than this will shorten its life. The chemistry for this battery pack is lithium ion. The runtime for this assembly is 10 to 12 hours with a new battery and new filters. It can be reduced to as short as five and a half hours if using an OVAG cartridge, taking these systems above 3,500 feet will also reduce its runtime. Battery packs not intended for immediate or regular use should be charged upon receipt and then recharged every three months. They should be stored from minus 4 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, less than 85% relative humidity. The battery pack sh charger should not remain on the charger for more than three to four days to maximize battery life. And also, for long-term storage, the battery should be removed from the actual turbo blower. Storage outside these conditions will diminish the service life of the battery.